Hi there. So this is Sean here from DigiLab Embarking. So as you, some of you might know, we run code clubs on Saturdays at DigiLab uh, in the afternoon, starting from uh, just late morning. So what we thought would be good to do is just kind of show you some of the platforms that we use and, and how easy some of you parents uh, can get your kids to the learning how to code from home and just you know just give them a bit of encouragement to do some of this they're quite fun and playful and then there's different things that they can do on it so i'm going to show you some stuff that you can try with your children at home so there's the hour of code that you can start right away here and clearly it says winner celebrity chat as well i haven't really done that before but you guys can give it a go at home you don't necessarily actually need to sign in to, to create any account at all to get started so you can just click start and it should get you in right away to do the hour of code activities but obviously if you want to track how your kids are doing over time you know how they're improving then it'll be ideal for you to have like an account on this so you can actually see what uh, what courses have uh, have they been doing uh, have they gone through so a lot of them obviously clearly uh, like minecraft so they can play, uh, do coding where they're actually playing Minecraft, but they're coding at the same time. So they, they, it's not your typical thing that you do where they're just moving a mouse. So it's a bit fun. So yeah, definitely I will really encourage you guys to just click on our code. Even you yourself as the parent, you guys can give it a go as well. Or anyone just, you know, that's about to, that's curious about coding, wants to get into it, wants to get your kids involved into coding and if you're a teacher obviously you can also host an R code you can have main account so we we do that sometimes when we go to school to run after school clubs so we have uh, the school's main account that we create for them and then we have all the students sign up uh, and stay within that so we can actually see how everyone is progressing on a nice map okay so the other good thing to also mention here you can see is put into grades as well so different stuff like age categories so just for the fun of it I'm going to, I guess, yeah, I'll just go in. I'll just press one of these ones, but I can show you. You can see variety, so it's not, it's not gender specific as well. It's you know, it covers all genders, and as you know, you know, young people are sometimes can be picky in terms of what they want to try. I haven't actually tried this box island before, so I'm curious to try that. Let's go for for the Minecraft one, which is easy. Just click start right there, straightforward and minecraft i'll go to dora so i'm just gonna click start again the cool thing here is that your child will probably know what to do right away once you just get them onto the website so that's the awesome stuff Stevie, about this Lizzie, Preston, thank you and you have this video what that starts just playing uh in between it's kind of like introduce them to what they're doing so you don't have to necessarily watch this um but i'm just i'm just gonna click out of it so you select which character you wanted to go. Steve, Alex, mini, 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 mini. Okay, I'm gonna go Alex. Select. And also, what's really great about this is that you can see that there are instructions that are given as well. The door is locked, but the agent is here to help. Snap a move forward block to the bottom of the of the when run block in the workspace to get the agent to the pressure plate. Then press run and use the arrow keys to move out of the house to collect the chests. Okay, so let's just hope I don't do an epic bit for this one because I haven't actually done this for a while and then I, I can see that they've changed some, some things around. Okay, so once you've, the cool thing about this is like, you know, is, is this is actually based on block coding. So you're moving the blocks to give instructions to what you want your character, uh, characters to do. And when you run the code, when you click run, you actually get an opportunity to click to see what's the code behind the block that you're moving. So obviously, you, if you're a beginner or you're just getting a young person to start doing coding, you don't want them to get bored too quickly. You want to sort of like mix it up a bit, you know, get them, this is like a nice way to get started and eventually you can then start to explore more actually what's behind the block. And also you can uh, start to write the code from scratch. And also the other cool thing with this is that, you know, there's other platform that we're going to do videos about where you can actually, you play the game by just coding uh, like action game. So there's a platform called Code Combat, which you can check out, but I'll, I'll try and do a video on that one as well on how to use it. So these, for example, we need to get these characters based on the instruction here. We want it to, you know, to move forward. And so if we, all you have to do, drag move forward here, 
Uh, so that's you just count if you press move forward once It will get here to it gets here, uh, and I believe it wants us to uh, To get out of there So he's just that's just gonna open its thing. So I probably need to add another one So if we click reset what happens again the beauty of this is they can you know experiment uh, uh, Experiment with it. So if we add three what happens then? Okay so we're trying to unlock the doors so that character can come in. Okay, that's an epic fail. The beauty of this, why I love this actually, is that you know as you're as you're playing it, you can it challenges you or your child to actually think, okay, what's wrong with my code? What am I doing wrong? And you can actually then go trace your step back to to figure out what's wrong. So right now, the main stuff that I need to do is to open the door open the latch so once I've actually done that I believe what I need to do is now use the character to actually walk out <laughs> awesome that's completed so that's the beauty of that so now I've just written one line of code and I'm gonna click show code so in that, the instruction says by dragging and placing blocks in this puzzle You've created a set of instructions in a computer language called JavaScript. This code tells computers what to display on the screen. Everything you see and do in Minecraft also start with lines of computer code like this. So in the future, the more your child does this, then you want them to obviously click uh, show code as often as possible, just so they can start to get used to the code and be more comfortable with it. They don't have to memorize it. And you can see what we've done by just pressing, dragging that code of that says move forward so next time i know in javascript what i need to write for example and you can they, they in the future we're going to do some videos where you can change programming language so i know move forward open bracket close bracket column is the right code to use to be able to move something the character forward or you know this all links links back to you know if you want to build website or build apps you know it's all it's all interlinked but this is about baby steps to get you or your child started so we're going to click continue, we don't want to replay it. So it should change and go to the next one. And you can see here at the top, it's counting down how I'm progressing here at the very top. So let's read this quickly. Alex is headed on an adventure to help get the map behind the locked door on the right. Snap the code into the workspace to move the agent to the pressure plate so, they, so that Alex can get through. So as I was saying earlier, so here you can see all the progress that we have to make so you can track the progress that your child is making. And obviously on this one, the idea is that you finish with an hour. Obviously, I'm not going to record like an hour long video playing this just like that. Obviously, they might even like it, but we just wanted to give you like a flavor of what you can be doing with your child at home. Or if you're just curious enough, you want to get into coding yourself to understand it. And definitely, if you have a local code club around you, I would definitely encourage you to go to it because the, uh, some of the challenges with, with this, as awesome as it is, is that you might get stuck. And it's always good to have someone around, people around that can actually help you along the way. Um, so okay, so here we need to get forward. What happens if we do that? Let's see. Okay, that's not enough. Right, we need to get to the front. So what we might do is put that one there. I want it to repeat. So that's the the. This is a repeat code, and what this does is rather than me having to put do lots of move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward of the characters, all I can just do, I can just put one in there, put one move uh, move forward in there, and then I can specify. How, how many times do I want it to move forward? So this might be one, one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, for example. So let's try that. Okay, so we wanted to step on, step on here so that can open and then I can move the character forward. So we need to set that back to two. Okay, so he's going to get on there and then that character is going to start so that means I can go forward with Alex you just wrote two lines of code all time record total and I can click show code again so because I use that repeat code this is what that code looks like in reality in JavaScript when you're writing a code. So again, it's just something that they familiarize itself with. So I'm gonna click continue. Uh, I'm probably gonna stop on this one so that I can just show you around other things that you can do on this brilliant platform. If I probably sign in 
So we already have a DigiLab account on here. Now you can see you want to go without signing up, you can do all this one. The Angry Bird one is one of my awesome ones. So I'm, I'm gonna see if I could actually try that. Try one of those. I love those. I think it's quite fun. It's one of the, it's the actually for me, it's the best one on here. Um. Can you help me to catch the naughty pig, stack a couple of move forward blocks together and press run to help me get there? Okay. Um, so for this one, what we're doing is basically we need to get ang this angry guy, red looking funny with the pointy nose or is the beak mouth uh, to get this pig. So here, move forward. So we should be able to get through this pretty quickly. And I love the noise that it makes here. Okay, so same thing, show code. So we, because we move forward twice, move forward, move forward. Um, we just repeat that code. So we can actually type that code in next time if we wanted to. So you can see here, it says move forward because it's showing what I have read right, right now. So how many times do, do you need to move forward? One, two, three. So I'm going to put three of those here. And if I click show code, it should show me exactly what that looks like. Uh, so this is your workspace where you're doing all your code and this is your block. So if you need to turn right, turn left, and you can also click inside here and change it if you want to. But the options are usually just there so you can just, I mean, so let's say if you have one here and you made an error and you want to uh, change the other way around rather than drag it off, you can also do that. So you can see I can drag just one thing out. I can also drag the whole lot, drag it out or cut it from here if I want to. And I can put it, also put it in the bin. But when you do this, you need to make sure you attach. So if you do this and you try to run the code, it's not really, you know, on use code, it's very naughty. Um, that's not really a good thing to do. So but just for the fun of it, I'm just gonna flip through this very quickly. So move forward, I need to move forward twice, and then I need to turn. This will also be great for your child, of course, to learn the right from the left. So let's hope I know my right and my left uh, correctly. So if I get here, I need to turn. I'm trying to work it out here, you can't see me. I need to turn right. Awesome. Right. Oh yeah, of course it turns right. But so, so the awesome thing <laughs> here also um, is that I need. So you can actually. I, so now I haven't completed it. So I'm trying to work out. Okay, what did I do wrong? Um, and it also tells you at the top here. Keep coding. Something's not quite right yet. Um, so I need to move forward again after I've turned. So I'm just going to press reset. And I'm going to run the code again. And you need to avoid the TNT. So you might just explode. Okay. So we're starting to get really creative here, trying to do some uh get some lots coding in. Uh turn right. Um open bracket, close bracket column. And I really suggest one of the great times to do is like you know. If you wake up your child early in the, uh, getting ready for school or your way driving to school or on a bus to school, you can, you know, just have them playing this on their smartphone, uh, load a website called the UG up on their phone or, or, or on the iPad and they can, you know, use this to really exercise their brain before, before school in the morning. So we want to move forward once and then we want to then turn left and move forward again and then we want to turn right and then move forward again. So move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right. So this should be correct, straight up. So now it's time to get more difficult now. So we want to move forward once, make sure you attach the code, and we want to then turn right, move forward. No, we want to turn left. Yeah, move forward, and then how many times do we need to move forward? One, two, three. So we need to go three here. I wish there was a repeat code here to make this faster. And then you don't want to turn left again. And then move forward once. And then run the code. Oh, wow. Oh dear. So what did you do wrong? We crashed. <laughs> okay, so... This guy is angry. So what we need to do then is we need to turn first. We need to turn right first. I believe. So again, we're testing this. Turn first. Okay, there you go. Excellent. So watch out for the TNT. That's better. Awesome. 
so you can see our code is getting a lot more complex and a lot longer now. To continue. So I'm just going to skip this video of Facebook Finder. Great. So we've got the repeat code. Make it faster. So this is where it gets interesting. So I need to move forward. How many times? At one, two, three, four, five. So I could waste my time doing this. One, oh, two, oh, three. Taking forever. Four, five. My goodness. I could have saved so much time. So I'm just gonna dump all of that and just put a repeat code here. And just put one move forward here. And set how many times you want to go forward from much faster and you do the job and you can watch the code blinking as well as it goes through you can see this somewhat makes rather than having a very long downward you know code it's starting to spread out it's a lot shorter as well so you know this is where we specify i wanted to move uh to repeat twi uh, five times and at least you want to repeat, move forward five times. Continue. So hopefully you can see how fun this one is, at least from my point of view anyway. So let me just do one or two more. Uh, so now because we know we want to do, how many times do we need to do it to repeat to get here? Five times to get down. Um, but I hope you can see something here. I don't want to make the same mistake again because this angry bird currently is facing this way. So we need to make sure it's facing this direction. Otherwise, it's just going to keep on banging the egg head against the triangle here, this glass. So we need it to turn right, I believe. So turn right first before you do the code. So I notice I did not put a turn right inside the repeat code. So I simply put it here. Uh, put it, it was the first one I attached, and then I then attached the repeat code next to it. Okay, so continue. Is there any other comp? Okay, so this gets interesting. So I'm going to use two repeat codes here. So first, good thing is the angle bed is facing four, so we need to move forward four times. So I'm going to say move forward four times. I'm going to change this to four. I've just typed in four. And when it gets here, I want it to turn left. So I'm not going to put that inside the repeat code, so I'm just going to do turn left. Um, okay uh yeah repeat and then i need it to go up five times so this should get the job done and obviously you want to what make sure you're somewhat monitoring your child when they're doing it so i say they're not just skipping through the process it's important that they go through every single process so it helps their learning as well um and because if they jump the process then the chances are they might end up being stuck at the front, but because they never went through the, through the process properly, that might be an issue. So, okay, so it says here, blocks that are gray can't be deleted. Can, can you solve the puzzle anyway? So that means we can't delete this block here anyway. We can't, you know, it's just gonna bounce back. So it's dead, it's stuck. So we're just going to put two in here to move forward. But the good thing is we can, change specify this to no actually we cannot specify okay never mind we're just going to put move forward uh repeat code at the top move forward inside so this is about solving the problem and coding a, a major part of it is about logical thinking and maps so you can see we're having to use numbers as well so we wanted to move forward twice and then when it, when it gets there we wanted to turn you can guess it when it's a turn right. So once it turns right, um, turns right, one, two, three, I'm going to put another repeat code for it to go, uh, to move forward. So you can detach it. So I need to make sure it turns right. So change that to two. That does not work. Two. And then when it gets here, it's going to turn right, right, right. Yeah, it should be right again. Okay, so let's let's find out if this is correct. But there's an issue. So far, so good. Okay, what's gonna happen at this point? Awesome. So we solved the problem. 
So now we've written 42 lines of code within the space of a few minutes. Um, so it goes to the next one. So I'm probably going to stop this one now unless there's something really awesome complex coming up. Oh, this is this is interesting. I haven't actually seen this one before. They've updated this. So I guess repeat till it gets to there and you just it's simple I guess you don't need to do numbers for this one awesome so you can see that this variety really gets your child thinking um, oh, interesting so with this you're not gonna use it right right away okay let's try it what would happen so I'm, my feeling is that it's not going to, <laughs> it's not going to turn, is it? Let's find out. Oh, is it going to turn? Yeah, I thought so. Not quite. You have to use a block you, you aren't using yet. Okay. Um, we need to make sure we solve this now. So let's reset. So we want it to... Turn left. I reckon move forward and turn left. Move forward, turn left, move forward, turn left. Let's see if this actually works. If not, there's another way we can get it done. Oh dear. Okay. Right, I just thought of something I want to try. Second, let's do that. Did that work? Turn. Turn. Okay, so there you go. That's one way to do it. 48 lines of code now. And this one is very tricky, isn't it? So... Me, dear person, me, zombie, me, hungry, must get to sunflower. Can you get me there with only five blocks? Of course. This is easy peasy. We can do that. Okay, so we wanted to move forward, turn left, move forward. So move forward with only five lines of code. Okay. We wanted to repeat, move forward, and then turn left. Move forward. Okay, let's try that. I think this might work. Oh dear. Um, okay. So at this point, you turn right. And you repeat the, the circle, you know? So what we're trying to say is move forward, turn left, move, turn right, move forward. Then he goes back to the top and repeat the same thing until he gets to the top. Yeah, spot on. So again, make sure you encourage your child to try and figure out if they're stuck, to try and figure out why, you know, what's what's wrong with the code to try and fix the code and not to uh, not to uh, to give up. Sign in. So you can see there's, you know, there's some of our classes that are already ongoing and we have or one of some one of the accounts you have different students any classes okay um and there's lots more that you can do within within this section and you can do specific projects as well so yeah you can go to your personal dashboard which is where we are actually so yeah hopefully if you've enjoyed watching the video Please make sure you subscribe to DigiLabs page on, on YouTube and also you can follow us on Instagram. Just search for DigiLab Hub. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and also on Twitter. We're on DigiLab Hub on Twitter as well. And feel free to send us an email or comment if there's anything specific like you'd like us to do a video on to do a coding. We would more than likely to see what we can do for you guys. And I hope this helped your child to get started in learning how to code and doing auto of computer projects. 
uh, computer coding related project. So good luck and and Sean from DigiLab in Barking. Thanks for watching.